you have fun? Did you have fun playing the ball? He played the ball in the hall, and now um, I'm gonna leave him for about a half hour while I go to Best Buy. I'm going to buy a game capture card and a webcam uh, because I'm starting my gaming channel this weekend. Yay! <laughs> Oh my god, he seriously gets so upset <laughs> sometimes, and it's not all the time, it's just sometimes when I leave the house, and uh, because my husband is not home right now, and it's, it's like heartbreaking, <laughs> but I'll be back in like a half hour, he's such a drama queen, king, prince, whatever. By the way, if you didn't know, Best Buy actually has a place to recycle things, like plastic bags. Um, old wires and cords and cables and batteries and rechargeable batteries. So if you go to your local Best Buy and you don't know what to do with that stuff, there you go. Quick tip. Well, hello, barking man. You survived. You survived and you were not dead. All right, Best Buy haul. Here it is. Here is the stuff I got. Well, that's the receipt. I also went to Sephora because um, I couldn't resist because I was at the mall. I got a little sample of Tom Ford Black Orchid. I normally don't like this kind of perfume, but I don't know, it smells kind of sexy. So a little itty bitty, itty bitty perfume sample. I also got a YSL lip gloss. This was on my birthday list, but it was out of stock when I went to go buy it. So, bleh, so I had to go buy it now. I love this. It's so pretty. I have it on my lips right now. How do we feel about it? I love it. It's like a balm gloss. So it's mm, 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 really moisturizing. Um, don't, if you kiss your boyfriend with this on, it's gonna come off, but I love it. I think it looks like my lips, but better, I like it. And they also gave me a little sample of like this Dior, oh, you can't even see it, Dior Dream Skin Moisturizer. I've actually gotten a sample of this before and it is really nice, um, but I don't think I'm gonna pay Dior prices for the full size, but I'll happily use up this sample, yes ma'am. Okay, that's a cord. <laughs> um, so from Best Buy, I got the Elgato HD60S game capture card for my new gaming channel, which I'm very excited to start this weekend. And I got a webcam. <laughs> so, oh look, it's like, my camera's like zeroing out on the, these women's faces. Like, look at them, they're so pretty. Um, anyway, I'm very excited to uh, share my gaming channel with the world this weekend. All right, I will eat my lunch and then get with today's organizing project. curious I do have a place where I put these little perfume samples so up here in my vanity I have um, a little well that's for a ring holder um, but I have a little tiny law table how cute is it oh the sensor the sensor lamp came on um, but it has all these little perfume samples that are kind of a weird shape so I just stick them in there and then I go through and I use them um, which one is this is this Chloe Looks like it. I think this is the original Chloe. This is my favorite. Um, I run out of this all the time. Actually, this looks this looks empty. <laughs> Let me, yeah, I think this one's empty. This might be the original Chloe, or this might be Chloe Roses. Okay, I just smelled it, and this is the Roses de Chloe, so I guess I can, I can recycle this bottle. I love the Roses de Chloe. This is my slightly larger bottle of, like, Roses de Chloe or Chloe de Roses, I forget what it's called, and you can see how much is left. There's not much but left at all. Oh my gosh, I have to buy more. And here's my original Chloe, which is also down super low. Oh wait, no, there's still a little bit in there. Well, that's okay. I'll have to use the last of it up. Anyway, I do have a backup of Chloe um, perfume. This is my favorite perfume, as you can see. What perfume do you guys like? Leave it in the comment down below. What's your favorite? I love Chloe. I think it smells so good. Anyway, I like having them up here in this little bowl. Like, it makes them look like little pieces of candy, and I like going and I pick one. It's just fun. I have a little Gucci Guilty here. I love them all. And these are all my roller balls. So much fun. 
Um, and these are all my like almost full sizes, maybe not full size. This is um, Harvey Prince. I really like this one actually. It came in a boxy charm. Um, and then my little, little tiny Chloe's. And like I got some Origins Ginger Essence back here. This is a rose perfume. They don't make this anymore. This is actually a different perfume. Fresh used to make this amazing rose perfume. Um, they made a few different ones, but they stopped making it. So this is a different rose perfume. I just refilled the bottle because you could just unscrew that and uh, put a new perfume in. So it still smells like roses, but it's a different perfume. It smells very similar to this one though. I love Fresh. They just contained a lot of products that I used to like, including this perfume, which is Pear Cassis, if we'll focus. Pear Cassis. Um, but they brought this back for like some sort of nostalgia sale and I picked it up when I went to Fresh. I went to the Fresh store in Newberry Street um, because I'd used all this up years ago. It came, I got it in a bottle that was like this size and you can see this is like a little baby size. Um, so I was very happy to find this in like a little nostalgia, like limited edition uh, throwback <laughs> fragrance sale that they were having. So I have that. It smells really good. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like pear but it also smells kind of very berry like berry like very sweet cranberry pear it smells really good anyway i like all kinds of different fragrances but i mostly like florals uh, as you can see from me liking chloe and stuff like that and i also like this is turning into a very girly vlog i also like this um this brand of perfume is called atelier cologne and it's made uh it's created by these two um french people <laughs> i think they're a couple and they make these beautiful colognes that are just really unusual. They're a unisex fragrances, all of them. Some of them smell a little more feminine and some of them smell a little more masculine, but they're meant to be unisex. They smell so good. My favorite one is the Orange Sanguine. This smells so good. It smells kind of like blood orange and like cedar. It smells so good. If you're at Sephora, give this a smell. I think this is maybe their like top smelling, top smelling, <laughs> top selling one. They also have a vanilla one that smells really, really sexy. I don't normally like vanilla flavored fragrances. Vanilla flavored? Hello, I must be hungry. Vanilla scented fragrances, but this vanilla is like smoky, kind of um, very, I don't know, there's something about it that's really nice and not sickeningly sweet. It just smells really good and sexy. How many times am I gonna say sexy in this vlog? <laughs> a lot, um, but anyway. Those are my fun fragrances, and yeah, this is an impromptu fragrance collection video. Oh, and this is uh, number nine. What is this one? It's like number nine love story or something like that. I got this from Anthropology. I really like it. It is from, I can't even read the label on this. Oh, it's called, it's from Lolita, and it's called Classic Petal number nine. This smells really, really good. I first discovered this because I got a hand cream that smelled like it, and I discovered that they also had a fragrance. So I don't wear it that often, but when I do, it's really, really nice. It doesn't last very long, though. That's the thing. Is the, like You spray this, and like three hours later, it's gone. So you smell good for three hours, and then you're going to have to respray it. So I don't use it very much, but I really do. I do really like it. Okay, end of fragrance collection video. I put a little makeup on so I feel like a real person now. And I actually feel like my voice is getting a little better too. I have been super like stuffed up in the face and I've had my ears sort of clogged up because of the cold stuff that's been like hanging on. It's been really, really hard, especially since I've had to like sing a concert during this. Oh, it's been really bad. Um, but anyway, I wanted to take a look at our candle collection today and see if I could downsize a little. We don't burn candles as much as we did in the past. We were like super into burning candles a lot, but now, we only burn like one at a time and we don't burn that many. So I'm gonna see if I can downsize on a few and see if there's some that are like almost dead that I can just like be done with and that way I can downsize my collection and maybe organize the space a little. So we'll see what's happening. So this is where we get, oh, this is Clover. Hi, I didn't know you were looking at the window. So this is where we keep the candles. My husband also is in this space. We see I can't open this door all the way because of the sofa, but that's fine. Um, so he keeps a lot of his technology stuff up here in this bin. And then on the down, on the down low, on the bottom is like candle stuff. And as you can see, it's not, it's a little bit, it's, it's pretty bad. I don't go in here very often, um, but I'm gonna take everything out and see what the deal is. There's also some candle business. I'm gonna turn the camera upside down. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Under the couch here. So we can see what we can do about that as well. Maybe I'll just flip the picture when I uh, when I upload this video. All right, let's do this. All 
right, so here's the scoop. I don't know how long Clover was in front of the camera, but whatever, we're doing this. So a lot of these things, I'm gonna be really honest with you, I'm keeping because of sentimental reasons and I'm ready to let go of them. So we've got a bunch of, looks like a bunch of tea lights in there and like some candle holders and like some of this business. This is all votive candles. I'm gonna be honest with you, I never light votive candles, so this is probably like it for them. This is a box full of random stuff and plus matches. Who uses matches? I mean, we have all those like little, um, those, what are they? They're like lighters. We have lighters, so why do we need matches? So some of this stuff's gonna have to go. And I think most of these guys are gonna stay though. These are like the candles that we normally light. Um, but some of these are going. The Bath and Body Works candles are obviously our favorite. So we have a lot of those. Um, and these are essential oils. That's okay. They can stay here because the um, diffuser is right there. But uh, I, I think I'm going to let go of these um, tart burners because I, I just don't do that anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm past that. So let's see. I'm going to um, text my husband and see if it's okay to, for me to get rid of some of this stuff. And then we can, uh, we can reorganize. These are super old. I'm going to get rid of these too. Okay, I am done separating. I'll show you what we're keeping and what we're giving away. So here is the box of things we're giving away. Since they're not, hello, yes, please, yes. Since they're not like, you know, super valuable things, but I'm just, I think somebody would want these. Like it's just old candles <laughs> um, and candle holders and like votive stuff. I'm gonna put these on free cycle and see if anyone wants to take them. If you've ever used free cycle, you know that these things go fast and people are so excited to come and take them. It's a bunch, a bunch of candle stuff. They're gonna be really excited. And I have these two candles in here as well. Can that, I'll, can that siren be any louder? Anyway, so I'll put this stuff on free cycle this afternoon and if, if I will let you know how fast they get taken because normally when I put stuff on free cycle, it's gone, boom, within an hour. So we'll see how valuable these are in the free cycle land. You can have them though. They're not for puppies. So here's the stuff we're holding on to. These as the sort of there's candle holders. So um, this is so super cute. This is for those Bath and Body Works candles to go into. I've been using that one a lot. Very cute. Looks like a little crown. I really like it. And um, these are scented sprays. Um, they smell like Christmas tree. I like them. So we're gonna hold on to these. Ignore this box. This is like the box I can't figure out what to do with. But it's hanging out here for now. These are the essential oils. Keeping these. I mean, they. I mean. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the candle. These are the candles we're keeping. This is a candle from Bath and Body Works. It's mostly Bath and Body Works candles. What's this one? Woodland Forest. This one smells good. A lot of these smell like what I like to call sexy man. Um, <laughs> this smells like like tobacco and stuff. It's from Target, actually. This is really nice. My husband and I love that one. Uh, this one smells like clove. I think this is from Bath and Body Works also. And here's another. This is one of my few Yankee candles. But this one's nice. It smells floral. This is a whole smelly video, a smelly video. This is from Target too. This is from Irma and, wait, Herb and Irma. And it is, it smells like tomato flower or something. It smells so good. I love this one. I hope they bring this back this year. Um, this is Fireside. My friend gave this to me for my birthday. I think like, or Christmas. I think it might have been Christmas. I don't know. It smells really good. It smells like your fireplace. So we don't have a fireplace. And then I've got Bergamot Woods. It smells like Sexy Man. We love that. <laughs> I love it. Uh, lemon Mint Leaf from Bath and Body Works. I don't think this is like available anymore, but it smells really good. I've gone through a few of these before. Um, this is definitely not available anymore. Well, you know what? I don't know that for sure. I'm not like up on Bath and Body Works inventory, but I don't think this is available anymore. This is the London, London candle. It smells like tea and lemon. It smells so good. Um, and this, I don't think this is available anymore either, but this is the Paris Daydream. Oh, that's him. See, I was texting with him to see if I could get rid of some stuff, and he said, get rid of the one next to my bed as well. See, he's he's just as good as getting rid of stuff as I am. Um, fabulous man. Anyway, Paris Daydream smells so good. This one also smells like Sexy Man, so I've gone through a couple of these as well. Um, this is my husband's, but we burn this one too. Um, Caribbean sea salt smells real good. And uh, this is the pumpkin pecan waffles. I normally don't like scents like this, but this one smells it smells really good. So if you're jonesing for some cookies, but you want to burn a candle instead, this is the one. <laughs> Get it around fall time. And uh, these are candle plates. I'm gonna um, wash these and put them back in the collection. And this is the one of these Hartwick Hearthwick candles where it's like got the wick in the middle and it makes a crackling sound like a fire. It's bomb. I love this. So we haven't used this one yet. I think my husband bought this before we were married or anything like that. So um, we have to like fire that up. 
Anyway, this is the stuff we're getting rid of aside that I'm just going to throw away or like get rid of because like they're done. Um, some of these are just like empty, like I emptied this, but I haven't done anything with it, so it's got to just get recycled. And some of these are just, I'm just considering them done. Um, I burned this one so much. I loved these candles where it was like crackly wick, you know, where it was like, um, but I don't, you know, it's done, so I'm going to get rid of it. And this is winter, I think, but there's something about this that smells kind of like burn. You know what I mean? Like it smells burnt, like burnt garlic. So it smelled okay when it first started burning it, but it just, I don't like it anymore. So it's almost gone anyway. So we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna get rid of these. I think this one is like almost, yeah, you can, it's like almost gone anyway. Anyway, those are the ones I'm getting rid of and those are the ones I'm keeping. I'm gonna try and put them back now and see if I can make them look a little more organized than they were before. A lot of like that stuff was in these boxes and I found in these boxes my CHA like patch. I should put this on a jacket. Uh, if you don't know, the CHA is the Certified Horsemanship Association. I don't know if I say this in um, vlogs or anything like that, but I used to be an avid uh, horsewoman. <laughs> and I had a horse. I taught riding for, gosh, like six years or something like that, and I really was into it. I wanted to be an equine veterinarian. Um, I went to like pre-medical school for it and everything like that, but I just decided at, at the last minute that just wasn't somewhere where my life should go. Um, but I, I, I retired from riding, but I just still have a couple of things around. So isn't that fun? So that, that is that. I just thought that was kind of fun. As you can see here, this is very much downsized from what we had in here before. We were using actually some under the couch space to store some of that stuff as well and it just was it just it just wasn't getting used because we again we don't burn candles as much as we used to. So but when we do it's it's only these. So I've got my collection here, I've got the candle holding stuff here, the essential oils here in this little Dollar Tree. I get this from Dollar Store bin. Um, I think these little bins are so cute. I've used these around the house for various other things, but they make a good holder for these essential oils. It's just the right size. It's a little cheapy feeling, but I don't care. It's just to hold essential oils. And um, all the rest of the candles that we use are in here, and as well as our um, lighters, <laughs> since we have a bunch of lighters. <laughs> Look at that. When my husband and I um, got engaged and moved in together, we consolidated all the lighters that we had and all the lighters that he had, and this is how many that we had. I mean, we've actually used one fully since then. One, look, one's still in the packaging back there. So that's, we'll never need to buy these again. <laughs> again. Um, and this is why you should consolidate all of your like items into one place that you can see exactly how many you have in your house at one time. If you have them all over the house, you're gonna accumulate eight and nine of them, just like we have here. So um, this is a little holder from a container store. I will link it down below so that you may purchase it. They make different sizes of these, um, but this is like the extra narrow or extra small size. Um, so I will link that down in the, sh in the description below. And this little buffet thing is from Ikea, by the way. And any affiliate link that I will link down below does give me a tiny commission. So just want to be transparent there. Um, but if you want to pick that up, it does help the channel. helps me create more content. Um, and that is that. Th this box is also from Container Store. I will link that down below as well. Um, and I will link below everything that I can so that you may purchase and make your own fabulous candle collection as well. Woo! So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it inspired you to call down your candle collection. I've been meaning to do that for months, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm really glad I actually did it right now because it's much less intimidating down there and I can burn some candles and, and have a mood, get a mood. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like content like this, please subscribe. I publish three times a week, usually. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.